John Hennessy has said that we believe our car is capable of going well beyond 300 miles per hour when speaking of his Venom F5, and we thought 301 miles per hour was his target. Turns out it's not, what he means is 310.6856 miles per hour, or a nice, round 500 kilometers per hour. 11 extra ticks might not seem like much when you're already doing 300, but every additional mile per hour is another battle. Hennessy's already said the Venom F5 has a drag coefficient of 0.33. Using that figure in the calculator at Wallace Racing to work out horsepower needed for a given speed, a 3,000 pound car with a frontal area of 20 square feet would need one. 216.51 horsepower just to move air out of the way. That doesn't include overcoming rolling resistance or other factors. To go 311 miles per hour, the same car would need 1, 355.29 horsepower. That's 139 additional ponies, more power than found in many small cars on sale today. Hennessy's numbers guys figure the Venom F5 will need 1,520 horsepower to do 300 miles per hour, so they're looking at another couple hundred horses to hit 311. Not that it should be a problem. During Pebble Beach we were told that 7.6-liter twin-turbo, pushrod V8 is currently rated at 1,600 horsepower at 7,200 revolutions per minute, and the company plans to hold that red line. Previously, though, the tuner said the motor's been turned up beyond 2,000 horsepower. The Texas firm will begin testing prototypes sometime in 2019, with high-speed validation runs expected to commence toward the end of that year. The first effort will focus on braking 300 miles per hour, then, after we'll brake 300 we'll see how much faster we can go. Assuming that happens. The 311 mile per hour run might require changes beyond a horsepower hike, such as aero modifications, but eventual customer cars will be outfitted to the same spec as the 300 mile per hour car. On top of that, Hennessy has plans for an internal combustion engine car that could hold its own in a drag race with the coming, second gen Tesla Roadster. He told Motor Authority that, if, Dodge can make a 4,000-pound demon go 0-60 in 2.3 seconds, he's confident about getting a tire on the F5, that will be running in the high 1-second range, 1.8, 1.9-second range. And remember, the SSC Tuatara is out there, too, with its 1,750 horsepower engine. After Jared Shelby said his coupe is the only one with a real shot at 300 miles per hour, we figure he'll be out to break any Mark Hennessy sets. The next two years should prove interesting in the top speed wars.